To the side. That's what I'm going to do. Leave it to the side. We need to take the foil off the bottle. Every champagne bottle has a pull tab. We're not going to use those. Those are notorious for breaking. So I'm going to use my knife instead on my wine opener. Just cutting around the back side, cutting around the front side, all the while the label facing the guest. Hopefully with the tip of the knife we can lift it up and get a fairly even pull around. All gone and in my pocket. Now the wine opener can go away as well. We no longer need it. Now comes the dangerous part and this is critical. Many people get hurt every year the person opening the bottle as well as customers, so we don't want that to happen. We want to always have a serviette or service linen over the neck of the bottle, over the cork, with your thumb over that. Flip it up so you can get to the pull tab. Pull this down, turn it six times to the left. Loosen it thoroughly, but do not remove it. A lot of people remove the cage and that's dangerous. This is a time where the cork could just come out on its own. Flip the towel back over, make sure we have a very good grip on the top and our hand under the bottle. Now we are going to take the cork out, cage and all. Keeping the bottle at a 45 degree angle, very good grip on the top. Now we turn the bottle slowly. When we feel the cork starting to come out, we try to control that because we want this to be silent. the bottle which will easily allow you to remove the foil. After you have removed the foil, put your hand over the cork and carefully remove the wire cage. Place a clean cloth over the cork and turn the bottle, not the cork, slowly from the base until the cork pops. If the cork flies off, this generally means that the bottle of champagne is too Champagne. You take the little old wire here and, open, and you unscrew it. It is always important that you hold the cork because if there is a pressure, the cork can fly out, it can be even be, be dangerous. Then, you, once you hold the bottle, but you hold it tight the cork and you twist the bottle because then you have much more traction. That's it can create a dangerous projectile. Let's walk through the steps. First, we remove the capsule. There's almost always a pull tab so that it can be removed cleanly. After this capsule has been removed, it will expose a wire cage that's holding this cork in place. There's a little key off to one side that you can pull down, and this just needs to be loosened. So what we're going to do before we begin to do that is put our thumb over the cork just to make sure that if we undo this cage, there's something holding the cork in place. So we untwist the wire and loosen the cage. And from this stage on, we need to make certain that there's always a hand or something covering the cork so that when we reach in, we can safely twist the bottle in one direction and the cork in another to the point that we can softly and without a dangerous explosion <laughs> remove the remove the foil at the top of your bottle of champagne so taking it and rotating you grab around the neck here rotating it round and off you will reveal what is known as the cage at the top of, top of the bottle of champagne okay also, on the cage, you will notice there is this circular coil which needs to be uh, undone before you can release the cage. So if you just bend down to the floor there, so you've got it nice and cleanly, you take the coil, so it's sticking out like so, and then 
in your strongest hand, slowly turning it round, all the while holding across the top of the bottle with your thumb. And then as you get to the end of the coil and it's ready, you're ready to release the cork. Now you mustn't ever remove the cage from the top of the cork because this will lead the cork to fly out and you've got less control over it as you're opening the bottle. So keeping your thumb there. For me, I'm gonna switch hands because my left is my strongest. And then, instead of twisting the cork, you will be twisting the bottle uh, round. So I'm holding the cork nice and firmly in my left hand and slowly but surely twisting and holding the cork and it should make a nice there you go. You don't get 